Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to bring to you, um, yes, we are in a different location also. Uh, you can see I got some board games over here. Big board game fan. Um, and you can see my wolves. Lots of wolves. Um, still my favorite animal. Don't really have collectibles anymore. Like I don't really accumulate them, but a lot were gifts and that sort of thing. So they've kind of just stayed here. Anyway, today I wanted to bring to you, <laughs> I was headed to Rite Aid because I got a new um, ear piercing and I needed to get some saline solution to clean it and that is available at drugstores. So there is a Rite Aid just a couple blocks down from where I got the piercing. So I was walking there, went in and what am I confronted with? This beautiful big sign that says, all cosmetics 75% off. I'm like, no, but also like, yes. Um, because I bought everything here for less than like 350. And that's the way to try new makeup. I know my mom would at least be proud of me knowing that all this stuff was on sale. So these were the things that I picked up. I also, there were a lot of things that were already picked through. Uh, Rite Aid is, that one was closing, which is why the sale was happening. Um, but I'm wearing some of the stuff on my face today. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through it a little bit. Um, so I ended up getting... I, I don't have too much from Physicians Formula. I made sure also that the packaging was completely closed before purchasing. That's one thing that is a bummer about drugstore if they don't have safety seals. I know people want to test, but like don't open product. Nobody then will use that product because someone else has opened it and grub, you know, got their little grubby fingers on it. It's just a waste. So that to me always makes me sad. But I ended up getting this, um, they call it a powder palette mineral glow pearls this is for the light skin tones and this is what it looks like it does have kind of a deeper almost tone to it when I first was swatching it and I was like I don't know how that's gonna look on my skin um but that's my highlight and I think it looks really nice actually I'm very very pleased with it um there is a little mirror and then a little kind of brush on the bottom which I did not use um but I do love how the highlight is just beaming across my cheeks so yes I will use this again again I got this for cheap it was only a couple dollars Physician's formula is usually a bit more expensive, um, which is also probably why I haven't really bought from them. Then from All May, I ended up getting two different um, liners. Um, I don't have like a deep uh, eggplant kind of color. So I got this black raisin. This is just a pencil pen pencil pen help no this is just a pencil eyeliner um and I just wanted to get this for the waterline so I would have a darker kind of purpley plum color and then I also got this um pen eyeliner and this is is this brown I hope it's brown yes 209 brown but it's got a weird little ball tip I didn't notice that till after I purchased it so I have no idea how this is gonna work this is very very interesting to me I don't know why you would want to have a little ball tip like this. Like, riddle me why that would be a good thing. I don't know. But I will try it at some point, see if it's worth anything. I wanted a liquid brown liner. Then also from All May, I do have one of these. One of these is also on my lips. <laughs> um, I will share with you the lipstick in a second. All May's gloss, um, goddess glosses, I really like them. They have some really unique kind of shimmer and pearlescence to them that uh, you just don't find in a lot of glosses. This one is, ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to read her. Rustic, mystic, something, stick. Mystic, mystic. This is mystic, this is what I have on. And then I have this more kind of a light purpley one. And what is this one called? Oh, this one's also called Mystic? Hmm. Um, well, I don't know about that. I'm not sure why both of these would be called Mystic. So, interesting. Both of them were, were sealed up. I just opened this one because I obviously wanted to put on my lips. It's got a beautiful little green tinge that I thought would look nice with what I was going on with the eyes. 
Um, then something so funny, uh, when I was going through kind of my really serious chapped lips, something that I looked up that obviously would be good is aloe. And there is this Vaseline aloe that literally just has petroleum jelly, aloe, leaf extract, and flavor. That is it. Um, and I was almost out. I walk in and this is the first thing that I see. So I got it. This was actually the most expensive thing. I think this ended up being like $4.50, which is still cheaper than what I bought it for on Amazon. I think was closer to like seven bucks because it came from Canada because I guess um yeah manuf manufactured in Canada um I guess there is also an American version of this that has a bunch of other ingredients but this is the one that's quite pure um so I was really happy to pick up another one again super sealed up which is what I want then what I'm wearing on my cheek I have not tried doll face but I picked up these little cheek palettes because they were literally like three dollars um for an entire cheek palette so yes I am going to try it yes that is something I mean a girl knows she does not need any more eyeshadow the whole entire world knows that Ashley does not need any more eyeshadow but cheek stuff I actually don't have a ton of cheek products um so finding more cheek products is not a bad thing in my book so I am wearing this darkest shade here and I slowly built it up across my cheek really kind of lifting it up to the higher point and I really like it I think it's really nice it also comes with a great big mirror here um just really pretty this kind of softer pink color has maybe a bit of shine to it so you could probably use this as a highlight as well but this one's really pretty this is called retro Rouge. oh no they're all called retro rouge um so they do call it a blush trio though and I don't know if this one this one looks to be is this one called Sophia yes so this more purpley one is Sophia then I have one that's a bit more of a nude that is called Grace and then one that is a glow illuminating highlighter trio and this one is called Hollywood Halo um and let me just open this one because the other two that I got were the blushes huh um just because I want to see <gasps> guys look at the packaging now that is beautiful okay worth every three dollars um so here it is definitely kind of like a pearl toned pink toned and gold toned highlight here all look really pretty but probably across the skin wouldn't look super different but I think those will work quite nicely I really liked the blush I thought it went on not too pigmented but just enough um and then the last two things that I got um from Rite Aid uh were these two uh cream lipsticks from Revlon I am wearing the color Brazilian nude Brazilian tan um underneath the Alme gloss and I really like this I've been trying to build up a bit more of my nude collection and then the other one that I got almost a bit more kind of like I don't know it's still nude but um I guess they are very similar aren't they <laughs> Um, but they're different. I mean, I promise they're different. This one's a bit more cool toned and this one's a bit more warm toned. Um, so the more cool toned one here that I got is Mood Fury. Uh, but I really just like having a bit more color on my lips these days than what I ever used to. Then just as my base, I bought this from Ulta. I was trying to get some new hair products, trying new things with the hair. I've been hearing so much about this and I've been wanting to try more from Catrice. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is what I have on right now. I have not been wearing this beat for a long time, only a few hours here. And I really like the foundation. It went on really well. It's a pretty um, thin foundation, but it packs a, a decent amount of coverage. And I thought the color looked good on me. So I'm excited to keep trying this out. Um, I do really like this as I've been pretty good with enjoying my profusion foundation um but i would always love to try something else and something new just to see how it works on the skin all that jazz um if you are interested on my eyes is the smoke sessions palette from melt cosmetics i'm mainly kind of using all these greens here kind of just like blended them um across this graphic 
eye. I've been wanting to do like a green look for a long, long time. But then all that beautiful sparkle, you guys, this ColourPop Jelly Mush, this is Mojave Moves. This is such a stunning shade and it looks so more kind of, I don't know, it looks pretty pop in there in the camera, but um, just a very interesting texture. Not maybe the easiest to work with, but I do love it across the eyes. I just think it's so, so beautiful. So yeah, that's kind of the gist of um, picking up a little bit of drugstore makeup. I love having a chance to play with this kind of stuff. I love just being able to try new things, see what's good, see brands that I, I'm not maybe initially drawn to. Um, and not everybody has the luxury, obviously, of buying products that are expensive. And hopefully people that went to Rite Aid, the one that I went to, were able to pick up some of these great things for just a couple of bucks because that is definitely the time to pick up your makeup. All right, everybody, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And wherever you are and whatever you may be doing, I hope you're able to do something you love every single day. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Bye.